And would you give any advice for, for those females who are looking to get into a male-dominated industry like football or insurance? Um, you've got to be um, consistently persistent. Uh, you've got to like be... Um, you've got to be focused and um, uh, not... Uh, not let the noise as we were speaking about before um get the better of that that voice in your head yeah. like make sure that you're um and be kind to yourself i think that's the most important thing that i'm i'm realizing that i have had kind of like a, not a, not a, a mini breakdown but a kind of a crisis in confidence mm. um because it was all go 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 you know with the football with building businesses you know we've uh, the insurance company the brokers based in the UK the with brexit um the actual insurance arm the insurance company has had to be moved um from where it was domiciled before we've had a lot going on um business is really hard not just in the football side of things in the insurance side of things it's very competitive mm. um and um it's, I wouldn't say burnout, but, it, you know, sometimes I think, uh, I don't know how to put it across, but really that you're, you know, sometimes you think, what's, I don't know, I think I need to take the question back. <laughs> well, it's, it's often, do you know, um, Carolyn, I was, I was, and I've, I've learned this the hard way, I think, it's like, if you don't learn to look after yourself and spend that time looking after, this, mm. after yourself, you can't look after anyone else. You That's can't look after your business. Exactly you can't it. look after your kids. You can't look after your clients. Yeah. And I just kept making that mistake. Um, you know, when I left Virgin Atlantic, those first, like, I don't know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years in business. Yeah. Before I actually just learned to, to slow down, to kind of zoom back out because we're yeah. also focused on being zoomed in especially like with it's with like these conf- things it, fo- yeah. it focuses you even more doesn't it but you take yeah. that time to zoom out and actually i think uh, look at your look at yourself and how much time you're actually spending on yourself that's right you invest that time and it's only going to benefit everyone else you come into contact with yeah and i think you know. that's it you've got to get your priorities right yeah um and you know we before um just before covid we moved to portugal um for various reasons um including you know brexit and all yeah. this kind of thing and also because i think we got to that point where like you said with the mobile phones with football being in, football saturday tuesday Can't we've got all the business it, yeah. Yeah, yeah every single yeah. day and we were missing that time with the children mm. um and and you know not getting those years back yeah and we kind of went away on holiday and we were like what about if we tried to do you know things remotely which is before people were even thinking about doing that but you know pre-covid so we were ahead of the game in terms of how to motivate people from a distance and make sure that they're doing a, 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 a job to a good degree um, you know, consistently yeah. um, when you're not in the, you're not there driving them and physically seeing them. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, moving to Portugal was great from a personal uh, point of view and spending time as a family. Um, you know, we were, we literally on our own, you know, where we used to have like a house full of people mm. um, going to the businesses all the time and literally not having any, any quality, um, you know, personal time together. Yeah, yeah. Um, but then, uh, yeah, this this kind of burnout feature, and I think it happens to men and women as well, Definitely. that you kind of reevaluate um, what what you're actually doing. And, and uh, yeah, so I've had one of those moments and kind of... Recently? You know, or? recently, yeah. yeah so in yeah. the past year, mm. you know, with my children, um, you know, the they're in school here now yeah. um, and kind of refocusing on myself, I think, now. And I, I think it's important to do it regularly. And I, I've just done it again similarly, like started before Christmas and I'm kind of still going through it really because it's, you, 
you kind of go, okay, what what do I love doing? You know, what lights me up on a daily basis? When yeah. you actually, when I actually wrote it all down, all the you know the majority of things that I love doing, you're like, well, I did that a year ago. That I did you know twice a year, and you're like, well, if you if you're just doing things for other people, mm. you know, it's it's their agenda. You're living someone else's dream. You yeah. know, what do you actually want to do? Because the time on this planet is is finite. That's right. So we might yeah. as well make full use of it. And if, yeah. we can, if, we can, if we can help people along the way, fantastic. But first mm. and foremost, as I said, if you can't look after ourselves, I think, yeah, what can you do? It's that kind you of know. moment, isn't it, that, you know, it's not going to be forever. No. That, you know, we have no, got, no. To, you know, please God, hopefully we're here for a long time, but you just never Agreed. know, do you? No. And, no, uh, no. yeah, um, yeah, definitely. I just dr- have it driving one day pulled over the car and I was like I think it just like the years of this strength and stress and strength mm. and you know f- you know I'm all flying the flag for everybody and you know be kind to yourself and do this and do that but sometimes you've got to actually you know not preach it but actually do it yourself yeah. um, and you know years of guiding people mm. and telling them you know being strong for them or come on we'll we'll go again we'll do this again it's constant you know you're the one at the top like everyone's looking to you yeah, for, yeah. for for well, what your reaction is going to be and it's always going to be strong isn't it yeah it has to be doesn't it but um, then maybe you show vulnerability which is difficult i think but yeah but i think it's and i and i you know it's a really good thing to do as well to actually say you know i i i I need some guidance i need some help you know i'm not i've not had counseling or anything like that maybe i should or because Mm. i think it's important to to look at at life holistically as well like you said you were doing your cold water yeah swimming swimming and just things like that you know, again, it's it's great that people are talking about it and what helps them. 